finale, the first Thanksgiving. So the ultimate losers of the first Thanksgiving are going to be the Patuxic Squantos, the last one alive, and he's only alive after the Thanksgiving. He never gets to see them, you know, start to get private property or kill all the fucking Pequot or just continue to massacre and extinguish the entire fucking nation of peoples. It's um, the, uh, the the rivalry between Squanto and uh, Massasoit. It seems like actually it makes a lot of uh, sense because Massasoit would see Squanto as a fucking Uncle Tom and he's a field Negro and field Negroes don't understand. They get him, they understand him, but they know that they're fucking weak. You're a goddamn slave. Time to get free. So, 91 people left, 2,000 Wampanoag. So there's still some Wampanoags left. The Neantics, there's some left there. Um, they haven't got federal recognition. The Neantic hat uh, does not, but there's 35 Connecticut families. The Pequot, there's federal recognition there. They also have a big-ass fucking casino. So the big-ass casino for the Pequot, I think, is this Fox, Fox Piano, uh, Foxwoods. Yeah, Foxwoods Resort Casino. They got Barry Manilow. So the Pequot are doing okay. They um, There's actually an article about how they weren't making as much money. But they got all these shows. They, they were making like $100,000 per tribes member. Um, but since then, it has kind of gone down. They have big Thanksgiving feasts, so they're not like sore about it. It's not like, hey, you know, Thanksgiving was about when y'all murdered us. They've been um, pretty well compensated by the casino that was established there. Since uh, reservations have their own laws, then Native Americans are allowed to, you know, pretty much put casinos wherever they want to, and then they do really well. Um, they can help their entire, you know, reservation and the, the people who live there out. So, uh, they said they closed the museum. They, they see, it up here it says, I see they were making close to $750,000 per adult tribe members, almost a million dollars in 95. So, there was about 315 um, Pequot left and they were making nearly a million dollars. Now, it's not so much. The casino is currently um, $1.7 billion in debt. So actually they're losing money. So I'm not sure who the fuck the casinos would be in debt to. Maybe the builders, the constructors or some shit. I don't know. So, you know, there's a casino still going strong. So good for the Pequod. Pequod are winners. They got federal recognition. They got a land. They're making big money. Um, they are in debt right now. So that's how usually the white man gets your land right back, right? Just puts you in debt. And they're in Gassets. There's not federally recognized. But I think there is a reservation. Massachusetts, there's only 50 Massachusetts Native Americans left. The Mohegan are a federally recognized tribe, and they also have themselves a reservation. The Manasseans, they're extinct, and so are the Patuxic. So the biggest losers of the first Thanksgiving would be the Patuxic Indians, Squanto's people, and then the Manasseans. They supposedly killed John Oldman. They lived on uh, Rock Island, Massachusetts Bay Colony. Um, they march, they demand the Pequot to give them the killers of John Oldham, Old Ham, or Old Man, Old Ham, and, uh, the, they didn't do it, so they burnt the wigwams in the corn, but unfortunately, they were fucking yelling at the Pequot to do this shit, but it was the Manistans who had killed him, so, again, Massachusetts Bay Colony is just blaming the wrong people for, um, killing John Old, Old Ham, and, um, and because of that, the Manasseans were definitely fucking gone, but they also, instead of just, you know, attacking, like, the Taliban, they went after Iraq, and they went after the Pequot, and they burned the fucking villages, they killed the women and the children and the old people, um, in the Mystic Massacre. So, uh, the Mashan, Tucket, Pequot Tribes, Foxwoods Resort Casino, it's, um, they, I don't know, they closed the business, and it's the first time ever they've done that in the wintertime, so, you know, that's... Uh, possibly because of the big ass debt, they need to start financing and running their finances a little bit better. You know, they want to keep on, they're doing the right thing. They got the land, they got the way to make money. Keep your land, keep your land. You're a nation within a nation. You can do whatever you want to do in, inside your own reservation. So, Naren Gassets are descendants of the original, of the Aboriginal people of the state of Rhode Island. Uh, archaeological evidence and oral history of the Naren Gasset people established their existence in this region more than 30,000 years ago. 30,000! Carbon Dayton found um, some of the Green River Indians about 5,000 years ago, but fucking 30,000. I was thinking about 14,000 when the Kentucky natives were here, but if they'd been here for 30,000, then the Kentucky natives could have been here for 30,000. They said tribal members had two homes, a winter home and a summer home, kind of like the uh, Shawnee. 
The winter home would be called the Longhouse, which up to 20 families would live in over the cold winter months. During the summer, the tribe would move to the shore and construct wigwams or wettest temporary shelter made of bark on the outside and woven mats on the inside. They would dig out large canoes from trees, which would hold up to 40 men. Sanarian Gasset Indian tribe. Um, the U.S. Let's see, Block Island. There's Block Island. That's where the Manaseans were at. Here's Manhattan. Here's Rhode Island. That's Connecticut. We can try to get a close up on it, but you can just tell it's a dot, right? It's a fucking dot. That's where Block Island is. I'm not even going to wait for it. Oh, there it is. Didn't even um get this close. So, the Naring Gasset, they have federal recognition. So, good for the Naring Gasset. Uh, or, wait, they haven't got federal recognition. They've applied for it, but they haven't actually got it. Um, but I think they got state recognition. The state and tribe have disagreed on certain rights on the reservation. July 14, 2003, Rhode Island State Police raided a tribe-run smoke shop on the Charleston Reservation, the culmination of a dispute over the tribe's failure to pay state taxes on its sale of cigarettes. In 2005, the U.S. First Circuit Court of Appeals declared the police action a violation of the tribe's sovereignty. In 2006, an embank decision of the first, okay, so a lot of complicated shit, right? Um, but they're like, hey, you raided us. You're not allowed to raid us. You broke our fucking leg. You're not a bro you, you, you do this. This is our nation. How can you come in there? Because they signed some fucking agreement or some shit. Notable Naren Gasset. Um, I recognize none of these people. So they're probably just, you know, notable for the local folks. Here's a guy, just a man. Roger Williams and the Naren Gassets. No, it's not a man. I'm sorry. This is a picture between Roger Williams, which is a fucking, you know, pilgrim with his fucking buckled shoes and his stockings and his witch's attire. He's, he's the fucking witch. He's a goddamn witch. And then the Native Americans are in traditional, you know, uh, 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 stereotypical they, uh, garb. So hopefully, I like that look. I hope that's what they actually did look like. This was published in 1856, so who knows what people in... Uh, you know, 1856, if they actually knew what the original meeting looked like, this is what he imagined. Roger William and the Naring Gassets. So Naring Gassets were there at the first Thanksgiving. They were the w reason why the Wampanoags actually allied with the English to use them, but eventually the English divided and conquered all of them and beat them all. So, I don't know, good for the English for being more cunning. I mean, because they killed them all, that's like fucking genius. I mean, that's pretty sick. You kill one person, that's a crime, but kill an entire nation of people, and that's, ah, who gives a fuck? No, that's what Israel's doing to Palestine. That's why white America can't tell what's going on in Palestine right now. So, it wasn't divine intervention that wiped out the Patuxic. They said smallpox embedded blankets or maybe a slave raid. Six years before the Pilgrim landing, a ship call, uh, sailed into Patuxic Harbor, Captain other, no, uh, captained by none other than the famous seaman and mercenary John Smith, former leader of the, f the first successful English colony. Um, John Smith explored the land, coast of Massachusetts. Smith visited the town of Patuxic, according to the Colonial Horizon, in 1969 book edited by William Gutzinanan, <laughs> Getzinan. Smith renamed the town Plymouth in honor of his employers, but the Wampanoag who inhabited the town continued to call, uh, call it Patuxic. The following year, Captain Hunt, an English slave trader, arrived at Patuxic. It was common practice for explorers to capture Indians, take them to Europe. So, the Patuxic are all dead. They're all fucking dead because they're fucking barbaric fucking heathens. They don't care about anybody but their own fucking selves. They're a bunch of fucking assholes. And it's kind of bullshit. It is kind of fucking bullshit. Descended to the Praying Indians, um, uh, there's more Mohicans, Mohegans. So, so far, let's see, let's let's summarize what we got so far. The, the Manaseans out of fucking Rock Island, they're fucking gone. They're all extinct. The Patuxic, the fucking tribe of Squanto, his entire tribe and his family's dead. Because he was fucking kidnapped and Christianized and taught to speak English. He was real nice to the fucking English, even though the English were the ones that fucking wiped out his whole fucking family. The Manaseans killed a fucking colonizing piece of shit. Massachusetts Bay Colony declares Pequot War by burning down the wigwams and the corn because they wouldn't give them the killers. Unfortunately, they were confronting the Pequot, and it was the Manaseans that had murdered them. They did take care of the Manaseans, but they also used this as a 
false pretense to go after the Pequot. Mohawks, I think there's still Mohawks. I think there's a few Massachusetts, 50 uh, Massachusetts members left, and they are, they're going to be the losers too. 50 fucking Massachusetts, you guys are the last fucking people. Are you guys going to get federal re federally recognized, get yourself some land, and maybe a big-ass fucking billion-dollar making casino or some shit, or are you just going to die off in the middle of fucking nowhere? The Naren Gassets, they got a reservation, but they're not federally recognized, so the Naren Gassets are making strides. The Neantic, there's 35 Connecticut families, same shit with the Massachusetts. No federal recognition. What are y'all going to do? Y'all going to fucking succeed? You going to go by the way of the Manasseans and the Patuxic and become extinct no more? The Dodo Bird, you're going to be wiped out for good? You're going to be wiped out like the dinosaurs and the fucking Dodo Bird? The Patuxic and the Manasseans? And if, if you don't want to do that, become like the Pequod. They've got fucking casinos, reservations. They're federally recognized. Um, get state recognition, that helps you to get the federal recognition, the federal recognition gives you a fucking plot of ground, and then the plot of ground you get to keep forever, and do as you fucking please, because it's your fucking reservation, and, uh, free Leonard Peltier, because, no, the FBI, nor any other motherfucker has any rights to be on your fucking property, so you're a nation within the nation, you're basically the Native American nation, the Native American, the indigenous Americans or something. I don't know. You're something different than America because you're inside of America. You're a nation with inside the United States. That's uh, George W. Bush, and he's a fucking conservative Republican. So if he's, you know, you get to see where the limits are by the shit that he says. Um, so the Neantic need to get on their shit. The Massachusetts need to get on their shit. The Naren Gassets need to get on their shit and get some federally recognized fucking... Um, just a recognition, just, hey, recognize us as the fucking tribe, so if you got blood, and you know that you are the fucking people, get yourself some fucking recognition, you know, what the fuck, remember the Pequot War, the Mystic Massacre, fucking, that's some fucking, that's, that shit happened, that was real, and it's fucking bullshit, nobody gives a shit, it's a white supremacist fucking holiday, they actually whitewashed it and pretend like they didn't do this shit, the final, the finale, at least there are some Wampanoags, there's 91 Wampanoags left, White people haven't wiped them out yet. Not yet. I think there are fucking rec federally recognized tribes, and hopefully the Wampanoags have got themselves some fucking land. Um, but, you know, the Neantic and the Narragansetts and the Massachusetts, they need to up their game. And the Mohegan, I think the Mohegan got themselves some land federally recognized, and the Mohawks, I'm not sure what's up with the Mohawks. So I'm going to check out the Mohawks a little bit. Um, I'm kind of winding up here right now, so... We're going to see part two of the, of the next, the great finale of the first American Thanksgiving. What happened? What happened to all the fucking players and the Native Americans that happened in the first Thanksgiving? Here's Lester C. Suck. And Lester C. Suck has got cowboy boots, which is fucking adorable. He's um, This is a Naren Gasset Mohegan. So the Mohegans, not a Mohegan. They are separate fucking things. So, so far, it's what everybody's claiming. But I think it's possible they could be the same thing. But the, he's a, 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 a Naren Gasset Mohegan. So he's both of them. He's a, both Naren Gasset and a Mohegan. So remember when they uh, cut the Pequot up and distributed them, they had actually distributed them to, you know, the Naren Gasset and lots of other fucking tribes. So the Naren Gasset, he might be part Pequot too. But he's claiming Mohegan Naren Gasset. So Naren Gassets, they got a reservation. They're not fairly recognized in the Mohegans. They are federally recognized, and they got a reservation. This motherfucker might actually have two fucking reservations he's allowed to go to. Or maybe they should experiment with private property upon the fucking reservation. They can do with that land as they see fit. They don't have to be failed communist experiments or whatever, or they could be successful communist experiments, you know, depending. Machine tuck it, Pequot try. The Pequot keeps going on. So there are success stories out of the, f uh, the first American Thanksgiving. Right, the English fucking took over the continent and established a government, and now everybody here speaks English and everybody's white. So clearly, the fucking Massachusetts fucking people and their bloodshed and shit did open the fucking doors and a massive wave of immigration. And it's uh, the majority of Americans are white skinned people, so they, they dominated. It was asymmetrical warfare, it wasn't even a fucking fight. But if we want to see, you know, as victory as being survival and shit, then, you know, the the uh, Massachusetts Bay Colony did quite, you know, past the first year after half of them motherfuckers died, you know, they did okay past that. Uh, with the Native Americans, it seems like it's hit and miss. It's hit and miss. Some of the Native Americans are kicking ass and organizing themselves, finding out their bloodlines and getting organized and getting that federal recognition, getting that reservation, getting that land, and then getting that money so they can continue to survive. While other fucking ones, the Manasseans, 
the Patuxic are completely extinct, and it almost seems like the Massachusetts, the Narragansetts, the Neantics, and, and there's only 91 Wampanoags. I know they got lots of different, you know, different fucking um, tribes and shit, but 91, that's not very many people left. And uh, um, I'm not sure about the Mohegans and the Mohawks, but it seems like those fucking groups are not doing as nearly as fucking bomb, as kick ass as the fucking Pequot. Pequot's kicking ass, fucking billions of dollars. They, they, they're they actually in debt right now, so even the Pequot, even the fucking example, right? The bright, uh, shining city on the hill is uh, is slipping a little bit. So the Pequot is slipping a little bit, but they, they were making like a million dollars per year with the Foxwoods Resort Casino, a million dollars per year in 95. They were doing okay, so hopefully they saved that fucking money and reinvested it in, um, in proper ways. So, all right, coming back up, the grand finale of the first American Thanksgiving.